in the south. By April 24th, his troops had reached the village of villiers bretonneux less than 10 miles from Amiens. The German attack on villiers bretonneux included a unique event in the history of warfare. It was the site of the first tank versus tank battle. It would feature British Mark IV tanks and one of the few German A7Vs. The A7V had a crew of 18, was armed with one 57 millimeter gun and six machine guns. Its top speed was only three miles per hour. The British Mark IV had a similar speed, a crew of eight, and came in two versions, the male armed with two six-pounder naval guns and two machine guns, and the female armed with four machine guns. On the edge of the bois la Bay, one and a half miles southwest of villiers bretonneux was a section of British Mark IV tanks, one male and two female. They were there to support the dug-in infantry. Suddenly, an A7V lurched into view. The British tanks moved forward to engage it. The British section commander, Lieutenant Frank Mitchell, in the male Mark IV tank, fired at the German A7V, but missed. The German tank kept on coming. So did the British tanks. It then halted and opened fire hitting both female tanks, which were forced to withdraw. But Mitchell's tank continued to advance. It fired again and again at the German tank. Eventually, the A7V was hit. The damaged German monster withdrew. This ended the first ever tank versus tank battle. 